This is a game changer because I didn't even know that vegan, plant-based Jamaican patties existed until last night. And I feel like, I don't know. I woke up feeling a little bit better this morning. I What's up YouTube? You're watching Life with Chris and on this channel I like to make self-love and self-care a hot hobby. In part of my own personal self-care, I have decided to maintain a primarily plant-based diet. Um, for those of you who have been following me, you already know this. If you're new here, I share a lot of vegan food haul videos as well as recommendations on how you can eliminate or potentially kind of reduce your dairy intake um, as well as meat intake. So I'm always on this channel just letting you guys know what I find in the store and what I think is a really, really good idea um, for you to try. So with that being said, the other day, actually last night, I was at Wegmans. And for those of you who don't know what Wegmans is, it is a supermarket chain that's primarily found in the Northeast um, Northeast, so like Pennsylvania, New Jersey. And I love to go to the supermarket at least once a month or so because they always have some really great plant-based items that I want to try. I'm talking about different items, okay? You With that it. being said, I literally found something that never in my life did I think I was going to come across. And it's crazy because when I turned plant-based, I was so afraid that I would never be able to enjoy one of these again unless I made it myself. But I'm not the type to go and try to like make it myself. Like I want someone else to make it and that's that. And I'm talking about a Jamaican beef patty, okay? For those of you who do not know, I am of Jamaican descent. My mom was born and raised in Jamaica. I grew up a lot on eating different types of Jamaican foods and etc. One of the main meals that I miss since going plant-based would definitely be Jamaican beef patties as well as oxtail. Oxtail's a whole nother story, but that's not why we're here. Let's get to the Jamaican beef patty tasting. So let me show you, there's two different options, guys. Two different options of the Jamaican beef patty, and who else to do it better than the original Golden crust. If you've been to New York, even if you haven't been to New York, most of their items can be found in supermarkets across the US, maybe even outside the US. But Golden Crust is born in New York City. If you've ever been on the streets, you probably have seen a Golden Crust somewhere and you probably went inside to get yourself a Jamaican beef patty, okay? But listen, this is a game changer because I didn't even know that vegan, plant-based, Jamaican patties existed until last night. And I feel like, I don't know. I woke up feeling a little bit better this morning. I woke up feeling like even though we're going through a pandemic, there's some hope. That has nothing to do with this, but any piece of happiness makes me happy. There's two different options. You got your spicy one and you got your regular one. I have literally been looking for a Jamaican beef patty for the longest time. Like I have literally been looking for it and I never found it until last night. So it makes me believe that this might be a little bit of a newer product or maybe it just didn't make its way down to South Jersey yet, which is fine. I'm still glad that I found it. This patty is actually made with the Beyond Beef. So if you had Beyond Beef before, then you already know what Beyond Beef tastes like. It has its own distinctive flavor. It's Jamaican style, so that means it's seasoned with all the regular seasonings that they would use in the beef varieties of the Jamaican patty. Um, yeah, I'm just really excited. Like based off of the back, they're saying that it's the world's first Jamaican patty made with plant-based protein. And I believe them because honestly, I haven't seen it anywhere. And like I said before, like I'm not the one to go and try to make it and reinvent something like this. Like I want somebody else to do it. And this is such a household name in the Jamaican food industry. So for them to make it, you know it's gotta be good. So I'm really excited to try this. It talks about some of the ingredients on the back. So it has, some peas, coconut, rice, cocoa, mung bean, pomegranate. You already know it's seasoned with thyme, scotch bonnet, peppers. I love this also because there's no soy and if you're trying to get away from soy, this is a great, fantastic option. Um, in terms of how much protein is actually in one patty, there's 12 grams of protein as well as 360 calories, which isn't horrible. Obviously, this is pretty much a carb-heavy food, so if you're trying to be low-carb, don't look here, ma'am. 
I figured today I'd do a taste test. I really love spicy beef patties, so I'm actually gonna be doing the taste test for the spicy beef. I did try the mild patty. I will share my thoughts in about a second, but for right now, I wanna try the spice patty on camera with you guys to see if this is legit. Let's do it. So off the bat, I just wanna say that this absolutely tastes like Beyond Beef. So like I mentioned before, Beyond Beef has a distinctive flavor. It also has the ability to be able to take over food sometimes. So some people have said they don't like Beyond Beef. I personally do like Beyond Beef. I don't have a problem with it. I prefer it over Impossible um, Beef, so that's just an FYI. But you taste that, but you also taste the Jamaican flavors that are coming out. Literally right now, as like the flavors are just chilling in my mouth, like it literally tasted like a regular Jamaican patty, which I am really excited about. This is kind of like what it looks like inside. You can see like the beef. Um, so the one thing that I'm not a big fan about, and I'll be 100% honest, is like to make this, you have to microwave it. Now, for convenience reasons, it's only two minutes in the microwave. You got a meal that quickly, but I feel like it makes the crust a little bit thick and not as flaky as it could be. I'm not saying that the crust is bad, I'm just saying that like it makes it a little bit stiff and like kind of hard to bite into. But also I think it depends on how long you left in the microwave. I put mine in for two minutes but my microwave is also on high so that may have um, affected the crust uh, a little bit. Um, I really do like it though, like I would absolutely buy this again. I feel like all I need is some cocoa bread, put it on top. I bought one box for $5.99. There's two patties that come inside. Like I said, they're microwavable. It's just really good. Like if you're looking for a plant-based option for Jamaican patties, apparently this is literally the only uh, version available. And well, at least it's the first Jamaican patty made with plant-based protein. Try it out. I highly do recommend this product. I think if you're looking for a substitute for your Jamaican beef patties or you're just trying to kind of get more plant-based products into your life, this is definitely a great option. I think the flavors do come packed inside. I love it. Um, I'll definitely be buying this again. I just wanna say thank you so much for coming by my channel and watching this video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, the like button, and leave me some comments if you have some additional recommendations on plant-based food. Make sure you check back on this channel to get more ideas around plant-based items that are sold in a store near you so you can start to live a more dairy-free and plant-based lifestyle if you choose, of course. All right, well, you have a great day and stay healthy. Bye.